Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to expand our desert forest and plant a bunch of, uh, uh, what are they called, flower spreaders? Um, and then we're going to go do some exploration and see if we can find some more of these keys. But, first of all, as you can see, I have completely revamped my main base here in terms of storage and things are much much better organized so let's just take a quick look at that um so yeah uh, i have all the the big storage now and um you know it basically starts with iron and then just keeps going around here with you know the higher level ores the further further down we go um, i have a crafting station here that i'm just using to convert stuff to rods and uh, make circuit boards uh, let's switch this over to circuit boards and see if there's stuff ready huzzah it's a beautiful thing um yeah so everything uh, has a place a place for everything everything in its place etc um i do have i have two overflow bins this one has quite a bit of iron and i've used quite a bit of iron you know just from taking down uh, all the old uh, locker storages and um but just feeling pretty good about stuff i did finally put a shredder machine in there was just some things like like iron for example that it just you know at some point you you just gotta throw it away <laughs> there, there's just too much shit, right um so yeah um i got uh so i also redid everything in here so so i, I put in a few more uh, tier two food growers um i've got one container for for food and one for kind of specialty food oh wow okay it looks like we're gonna need to let's make some chocolate chip cookies I'm, I'm making a whole bunch of honey cooked beans um to help with you know because i'm always getting thirsty and uh i've got six cocoa beans and six uh wheat here and then this guy's making flour this guy's making uh chocolate uh, so why don't we Oh, this doesn't pull from the from the thingies, does it? Okay. Uh, let's grab all of the flour and chocolate. And this is just food for me to eat, right? It's not it's not to, intended to be like a, a production line or anything like that. Um, I don't know if this birthday cake is just a funsy thing or if it does something. So let's make it. And what happens if we eat it? It's not letting me eat it. Why isn't it? Why is it not letting me eat it? Uh, I don't know. Is it supposed? Is it intended to be a, a, a decoration? Do we put it in our inventory? No, it doesn't go in our inventory. First birthday cake. Hmm. I don't know. Never made it. Don't know what the hell's going on with it. Uh, but let's put it in here. Okay, uh, we can also make some chocolate chip cookies. So we'll make a couple of those. Those I can eat, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of honey cooked beans. Um, that's good food because it reduces our, our thirst. Um, and, man, my guy gets thirsty a lot. Uh, the fish soup isn't necessary because it reduces oxygen consumption. Um, kind of silly in my opinion, only because by the time you're able to make fish soup, you've probably already, uh, you know, oxygenated the planet. So it seems kind of worthless to me unless you're going to do a lot of underwater stuff, perhaps. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah. So, again, this is just food for me to eat, not food uh, to mass produce or anything like that. That's happening at the food farm, though. I need to give that some attention too. Um, see, I organized all of this. We got tree bark, tree seeds, and I had uh, I had to do another storage for silicon because I then used this crafting station up here to make bioplastic. I switched this usually switch this back and forth between bioplastic and cloth. Um, and as you can see, I've redone everything up here as well. These uh, you know these new storage things they. They stick out a little further than than the other bins, so they're they're narrower width-wise, but but they're bigger depth-wise. So things are kind of tight up here, 
I can't even move through, you know, these areas, but you know what? It is what it is. You certainly could in real life, so I'm not very worried about it. If we have to jump up over, we have to jump up over. But anyway, yeah, things are much more organized in here. I put the mushrooms up here specifically for making uh, bioplastic, and then the bioplastic could just get sucked right up, you know, to make the circuit boards. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for our new organization. So it's looking good. Looking good. Uh, I haven't really done anything more at the house. I was thinking about, you know, doing a bunch of the this kind of food stuff at our house, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just keep it here. And, you know, the stuff that's at the house is more, you know, for decoration. The house meaning our home over at the Southwest Falls area. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. I've got, I currently have five tree seeds you know, that we've just found in loot. Uh, so let's grab those and I have some extra cobalt and iron. Uh, what do I have this set to currently? Oh, cobalt, okay, no wonder I have so much extra cobalt. Let's switch this over to magnesium. I think we're, that's one of the ones we're a little bit lower on. And we'll just put this cobalt in the overflow, along with that piece of iron. What we want to do is, since if we have, yeah, if we have five tree seeds, we want to make five uh, tree spreaders. So let's bookmark that, and then let's get all the stuff that we need to do that. Uh, oh, I also, um, I also added a tier two fertilizer production chain to our waterfall setup and i'll show that to you okay so we're going to need five bark let's pull two out of here and then three more out of here uh, looks like we're going to need five super um and five bacteria i should have some extra bacteria in here yeah and then the fertilizer. Is that one? I think that's two tier twos, right? Yeah. Okay, so that means we need a total of 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I believe that gives us everything we need. Let's. Let's take this again, and one of these, and I'll grab another one to, for the road here. All right, we'll come back um, later and, and do the flower spreaders. The other thing that I wanna do is I wanna start, uh, should we put one of those up here? Yeah, why don't we? I want to start um, looking for more of the keys, too. Soleus. Let's do this Itera tree. I'm more interested at this point in just decoration than I am necessarily, you know, um, uh, TTI stuff here. So we'll put more of the red trees over in this area. Okay, and then let's see. Maybe some more red trees right about here. Okay, so we still have the soleus and the linfolia. Let's push those back further this way. Soleus there, and um, maybe Linfola right here. Okay, so that'll expand the forest. Now what we need to do is make a shit ton of flower spreaders. Because I'd like some undergrowth for our forest. And we've got 
flower seeds coming out our ears. And, although again, this is not the main purpose, it'll boost our, our TTI some more. So it's a win-win situation. It's kind of cool to see our little forest down there in, the, in what was a barren desert. And then we'll go around, like I said, and we'll look for... Oh, we should probably launch a couple plant rockets. Uh, I was going to maybe put another drill and heater down, too, just to give us even more boost to the TTI. Um, but let's do the flower spreaders first. So this is what we want is the Tier 2s. And so we're going to need lots of fertilizer, lots of super, and lots of water. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go to the fertilizer. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that allow, allow us to do five. We'll start with that just because um, otherwise it's going to fill my inventory up with too much stuff. And then we need ten supers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's drink one also. And good. And that leaves us room for flowers. Um, okay, so what I've done with those is I have three I have three flower seeds and these are the lower level ones, mid-level ones, and high level ones. So obviously let's let's do a couple goldens. We'll do a, a boldness, an arima, and a tusca. Just for a little variety. We were going for maximum TTI to do all golden, but we're not. So okay, let's head back on over here. I'm not going to try and cover every square inch, but just, you know, kind of place them at random. Uh, yeah, we'll put the golden in. Actually, no, let's let's put the, the Tusca there. Let's spread things out just a little bit here. Put the boldness in there. Come over here, pop down another one. Put the Arima, and then maybe we'll do some golden in here. Okay, so we'll let that stuff uh, grow, and then what I'll what I'll probably just do is continue adding more over time. I believe that's what we'll do. Okay, so um, let's do another T5 drill and another T5 heater, just for the hell of it. And then maybe we'll launch a rocket or three. So let's see, get rid of you and heater and drill. Okay, the drill's actually pretty damn cheap. Why don't we do three more of those? So that means we need six of these and three of these. Okay, let's do those first and then we'll do the heaters next. These things are so enormous um can i put it i guess we can put it right there don't want it necessarily clipping into stuff Okay, 
so that takes care of those guys. Um, now let's do three more heaters as well. And that's probably all of those I'll, I'll put down for the whole rest of this playthrough. Get rid of that. Okay, so for three more heaters, we're going to need uh, iridium rods. So nine iridium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's set you to make some more iridium rods. Uh, we're going to need nine super alloy rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to need nine explosive rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Um, I haven't even thought about my power in such a long time. I mean, good, good God, we got 25,000 and change. So, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I know some of these are kind of floating, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> At this point, I'm not going to be that picky about it. I'm clumping them all together so much is because of the optimizers that we have in here. Uh, let's look at these for a minute, actually. Okay, you have two pressures and you have two heat. Do we have any more? Though I have a couple fuses. I just don't remember what all they are. I think they're production fuses, actually. Oh, you guys told me in the comments, too, that I can't use those for auto crafters. Uh... So that's why it wasn't working when I set those up. I think we did that in the last episode, right? Um, that's energy. That's production. That's oxygen. All right, you know what we can do, though, is we can buy some of those. Uh, so let's see. We want a, I want a heat fuse and a pressure fuse. Let's grab... Um, a couple more pieces of cloth and finish that off. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to exactly how many it needed. There it goes. Okay. So, yeah, we'll buy those a uh, couple other fuses there. And we'll unpin that. Now, um, let's do a couple, uh, actually, let's go check our critters, and uh, we'll also do, we'll do an, uh, launch a couple of animal rockets. Let's do that first. I gotta go check the recipe. I know it needs bee larva, but, it, and rockets, obviously, but I don't know what else it needs. So we'll just go check. Okay, animal spreader. Oh, we need, all oh, right, we need the genetic thingies. Okay. Drone visualization rocket. We never launched one of those. I don't, I guess if you had a real massive network setup, you might, this might be useful just to kind of see where your drone activity is, but I don't know. I, I don't, I don't see that as being super useful because the drones are going to, you know, they operate autonomously. You can't, as far as I know, you can't direct them. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just for funsies. But anyway, let's go ahead and pin that. Um, so we're going to need to come up with six genetic traits to get that thing launched, which is not a, not a bit. Oh, I love this room so much. I don't spend enough time in here. It doesn't let me drink from this water, though, but it's probably just as well because, you know, it would be like drinking from the fish aquarium. Yuck. <laughs> Anyway, okay, let's do this. We eat another one of those and drink another water. Yeah, I think I think my guy gets thirsty too easily. It's kind of a pain in the ass. 
Okay, what are we doing? We're going to go to the animal area. Uh, to the food farm. Uh, there is... I need to do some more work out here, too, in terms of the production. I mean... It, it works. It's just... I don't know. I feel I don't feel like it's as optimized, but uh, I need to actually tell this to load cookies up too. All right. Anyway, let's um let's take a look at our critters. Get a genetic trait. Look at you getting bigger. We need to make another one for for you. Species. What species are you? Species two. <laughs> Sounds like it squeaky door get a trait off of frederica and where's frank there's frank thanks frank um didn't we make another one of these or do we just have ham the speedster hmm, i don't know <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh, yeah, we did. That's Hammerita the speed Speederita. I know that was terrible, wasn't it? Okay, can't take me anywhere. Um, let's We want to do I want to do another species too. Uh, so I don't have a species too. All right. Let's Let's see what we do have we'll load everything up except for the species so do we have a color a yeah we got that okay and a color b that's a color a okay i don't see a color b so we'll have to make one uh, skin pattern color let's go with that skin pattern we don't have a skin pattern bioluminescence we have a 10 and then a size we have one a uh, size 4 okay so we just need a skin pattern a color B and a species but until we get us another species 2 uh, yeah until we get another species 2 I'm not gonna make another critter so we can just use whatever else we have of the rest of these to launch the rocket so do we have 12 of these three uh, let's see that's 10 yeah we do okay so that way we could launch two rockets then um, let's put the red color back in here and we'll put the what's this that's a species one so that's a Frank species uh, no. Wait. No, I think Frank was species three. <coughs> One is him, the speedster, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that gives us uh, 10. Okay, that gives us 12. So that means we can launch two rockets. Okay, so we need two actual rockets. We'll get those out of the tech uh, crate. We need two Oz rods. Oh, we need to make some uranium rods. And um, mutagen. Do I have any yellow mutagens in here? I don't. So let's go up here and we'll grab two tier four mutes all right let's go launch the animal two animal rockets get that tti cranking fish in space <laughs> Looks like it has one of each fish species in there, which is pretty cool. Oh, 
All right, that's done. We're getting close, man. We are getting close. We just boosted everything. Well, not everything, but a lot of things by putting the five tier three tree spreaders down, the flower spreaders, and the animal rockets. Why don't we do, let's do five more flower spreaders now. So let's see, where are those? Mark those again. So we need 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We need 10 water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drink one. And ten fertilizer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go pick some more flowers. Uh, we'll do two more golden. Um, let's do a pastera. And a Shanga and a Nolma, just for variety. We're doing it for variety, man. Yeah, that's that's looking a little bit better. I mean, we'll never actually be able to get rid of the sand, but, and make it, you know, like actual forest floor, but it is what it is. Uh, let's put the pestera in there. I actually like the pestera flower. It's a blue flower. Okay, let's put another one here. And we'll pop a golden in that one. Got a flower spreader there. How about if we put one here? And we'll put the shanga there. Oh, let's do the Nulma here. And we'll do... Oh! I'm short of super. How the hell did that happen? Certainly not my fault. Don't blame me. pop this down right here and we'll put the golden in and then again I'll come back later and add more it's a little difficult to get the the full ambiance since everything is yellow at the moment thanks to that damn storm but at least it puts a little more you know undergrowth going on in here now so looks cool there go there the yellow goes away Yeah, I'd be not it'd just be cool if we could create like an actual forest floor, you know, like dirt a dirt uh <sighs> what do they call that? Isn't there a word for like the dirt on a forest floor? I don't know. <laughs> the the carpet. The forest carpet. We need to grab the fuses out of there and re-enable you. And um, <clears throat> let me go look at something here. Okay, you're still making those. Let's switch you back to cloth for now. All right, we'll go pop those fuses in, and then I think we're ready to do some exploring. Let's make another cookie. Yeah, let me know what the hell that birthday cake's for. It doesn't uh, doesn't let me eat it. 
first birthday cake. <clears throat> Was that like the first anniversary of the game? But what do you do with it though? Oh, I wonder if I could put it on a decorated shelf. Betcha, maybe that's what I can do with it. Right, put those back in there. I'm gonna grab a couple of those for our road trip and let's grab a couple of you as well. Um, I want you to actually go over here. Yeah, I'll just put you in the bioplastic bin for now because that's what it's for. Let's unpin these. We'll grab a little, a couple extra water that we'll probably be able to eat water out in the out in the wild. And yeah, I think we're good. Let's go pop these fuses in. I'm gonna run back up to the rocket platform too and get rid of these uh, pressure. Get rid of the pen item. And then we're just going to go cruising around and see if we can find some more of these keys. I've only found one so far. It was the one that was down in the crater, but when we get close to them, we'll see like a little glowing, gold glowing thing in the doodle. Okay, unpin. There we go. One area we haven't really spent much time in at all to speak of is the arches biome. So why don't we run over there first, just for the hell of it. There's also a wreck that we haven't looted. I'm gonna top off with that. We got uh, three explosives with us. So yeah, let's go check that out. Um, probably we get a little bit closer. Oh, I was going to show you guys uh, what I did at the water bowl. Let's look at that real quick. Okay, so basically I moved the teleporter inside because I had it outside before. Uh, this is the third story of the, our little tower here and it is growing um, uh, squash. This is the second floor uh, that's growing eggplant. And then this is the first, uh, whoops, sorry. This is the first floor, which has the two autocrafters. This one's making uh, tier one fertilizer. This one's making tier two fertilizer. And I've got uh, some bins there. Yeah, so that's cool. All right, now, uh, let's go over to the fusion cell production and we want to go this direction we'll go um, do some exploring in the arches biome and I might I might poke my head in the wreck there too I'm going to be very selective about looting stuff um, just because we have so much shit now. Oh, here we go. Look at that. All right, cool. We found another one. How many... How many of these are there? I thought... If I remember right, I thought there was like 10 take that. I'll take the bioplastic. I think I'm going to leave the rest of that. All right. Nice. We found another one without even looking for it. Well, I mean, we are kind of looking for them, but let's go. Let's go check back in the cave here. Uh, let's see. I think the cave is here. Just see if there's anything back there. 
the hell is that cave? Here it is. I don't know if you can find those in the... I want those... I mean, I know that stuff's valuable, but again, we have so much stuff. Um, I don't know if you can find those in caves or not. Those keys. Alright, let's hop up to the top of the sand falls here. Yeah, we've hardly spent any time in this biome. I mean, I've passed through it once or twice. Uh, I'll take the rocket. I'm going to leave the rest of that. Alright, let's pop in here. We haven't been in here in this playthrough. There's just a lot of stuff you can take apart in here. I don't... I don't recall if there's a lot of... Well, I guess there are things we can loot, too. I'll take the genetic trait, and... Just don't need any of the rest of that stuff. We're really short on the... Whatever the red mutagen is. It's, I think it's the tier 2 or the tier 3. So if we run across any of those, we'll, we'll grab them. Oh, hey, new suit. We already have both of those suits. Um, I think I'm going to leave them there. We could take all of these apart, but I'm not inclined to do so. Just because, again, we don't need this space. What's in here? We'll take the production multi multiplier fuse. Uh, I guess we'll take the circuit board and the two super rods. And leave the rest of that. Okay. Let's go back through here. Um, nah, I think I'll leave that. Did we already look in here? I think we did. Oh, no, we didn't. There's, it's a tier three mutagen. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. That's the one I was kind of short on. And then there's, I think just heaters in here. To take apart, which I'm not interested in. Another spacesuit locker. Tubio, I think that's new. And is is Bateo new? I know we have Fablo and Sifo. So I'm not gonna grab more of those. Alright. looking around for more of those keys we found one in the crater and one at the sand falls so far I'm not sure if there is a specific pattern to those keys like for example one in each biome type kind of idea why, why does my jetpack not work right here? I must be close to a warden area. Huh, that's weird. Is there anything up here? There, now it works. Yeah, we must have been close to a warden area. Let's go on top of an arch here. Just see if we can spot anything. Not really seeing anything up here.
Okay, let's pop through these caves. This is a uh, pulsar quartz slash osmium cave. But we don't need to pick any of that stuff up. Just looking for a key. One of these passages leads back down to the Cenote. You can kind of hear the water. Okay. I don't... I don't think we would find the key in here, would we? check I guess. I need to be careful though. I don't have any oxygen on me. I think we can make this swim though if we, if we go straight for it. Alright, let's not go down yet. Let's make sure we have full oxygen. See now, now this would have been a good time to have that uh, fish stew. <sighs> All right, let's eat a cookie. That'll help us go faster. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, we are going quite a bit faster. All right, is this no? We got to go the other way. Yeah, if we just keep moving, we should be fine. I'm not expecting to find one of them in here, but who knows? Maybe we will. Oh, geez, it's dark in here. We already grabbed that key. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not seeing it in here. I think it would uh, it would be glowing, and we'd. Probably have no trouble seeing it if it was in here. Okay, let's head back out of here and um, keep looking around. Make sure we have full oxygen. And we still have our speed buff, too. All right, so um, where else can we look for these? They, we found one down there, of course. Um, I have pretty much been all the way around down here now, I think. Our house is up there, actually. Uh, I don't remember seeing it, but let's look again, just in case. There's supposed to be a gold chest around here somewhere, too, but I haven't come across that yet, either. Not that we need it, necessarily, but 
just to find it for the hell of it, you know? We'll take that and that and that. I guess we'll take the pulsar quartz too. And that will fall. We already looted this, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll take the genetic trait, the rocket, and we'll leave the rest of this stuff. How about if we go over? We could actually climb the waterfall again. Uh, I haven't been up there in a long time. Uh, not, not in this uh, playthrough, anyways. We have a, we do have a base up at the top there in the multiplayer. We haven't been doing too much of that lately, though. We did play a little bit last night. We worked on the base a bit. So let's just kind of go along up here and see if we can spot another key. I'll also fly back through here. Those plants are crazy looking. Oh, we could all uh, we could also go in the cave underneath the waterfall too. If it was going to be anywhere, I would think it would be up here on this shelf. Apparently I dropped a bunch of shit up here. <laughs> uh, we'll pick it up just to clean up the countryside. Alright, well, I'm not seeing an altar up here, but there could be one down in the cave. Let's go check that out. Haven't been back in here in a long time either. We never looted that stuff, did we? Bunch of potato space suits. Um pause the screen and read that if you want to. We'll take that. Come on. Give me a, a drink option. There we go. This can be really janky sometimes. Nothing back here. All 
All right, we can go. We could go back down to the mushroom biome, I suppose. But I'm going to go home real quick and just drop some of this stuff off because we're loaded up as usual. All right. Got a bunch of rockets out of that deal. You know, if I'm not going to use these production multiplier fuses, I should probably just sell them. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. That can go in there. Quartz stuff can go in here. The tier 3 Moody can go in there. And the bioplastic in here. We gotta go check out these two new spacesuits also. Uh, sulfur. My eyes are really dry today, so I keep blinking. <laughs> ah, all right, so let's see here. Aluminum's completely full. All right, we'll put that in there, put that in there. I'm keeping the extra keys in here, so we have two of them. I want to say, isn't there like, aren't we supposed to find 10 of those? But I, one of you were telling me, that um there's extras just in case you know you can't find them all or something pastera seed that would go here all right let's make a couple ma uh, mannequins so we just need a quasar and a, and two supers two quasars two supers and we'll go over to our home and set those up and take a look at these new suits uh we don't have a ton of room in here anymore do we See if we can put one here. Alright. Tubio. Okay. And the Teo. Yeah. That's new. We don't have that one. This one is the Fablo. It's, it's uh, similar to the Bateo, but not exactly the same. This is still the most unique suit, I think. The one that has kind of like the aquatic look to it. Oh, I was going to see if we could put the... Mm, I doubt we can put the birthday cake on this. I mean, we could try it. There's no harm in trying. Uh, it just doesn't look like it's the right size is all. Let's try it though. That way we can say we did try it. man did I grab the wrong thing must have can't take me anywhere
Yes. You can put it there. Interesting. Uh, how do you get it, though, to go on the bottom? There we go. What would be cool is to put it in the center, though. All right, so let's do this. Let's put the rocket down, then the cake, then the rest of it. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. All right, so that cake is for decoration. It's not for eating. Now we know. Now we know. I'd prefer to eat it, actually. <laughs> put this back in here and we got, got a couple of traits let's eat one of these and we'll drink a water okay um i think what we're gonna do guys is i think we're gonna wrap up this episode and we'll do some more exploring looking for more keys in the next episode uh the other thing i want to do too is i want to set up a portal and we'll try a procedural wreck or three as well. Not, not really because we need the loot, but because we can get money from it, which would be nice uh, to have. Okay, so we already have the size. And okay, so yeah, those are already there. So we'll just put these extra ones. Oh my God, there's hardly any room in here. Let's take you. You are loading up the rocket with that shit, right? Yep. You know what? I'm going to actually take the cookie with me. And let's take a load of this back to the uh, to the main base as well. Uh, or maybe we can take some of these to the house too. Just kind of spread them out. Can we get a a genetic tra a species trait from you? But he's he's species two. Why did he give us species three? I guess it's probably just a total random thing, huh? That's species one. It's a skin pattern color. He just farted. <laughs> and a skin pattern. Okay. Throw all of those in there. Let's grab some more food, too. Alright, let's go to our house. And we'll put this... Oh, shit. I got a bunch of water in there. We'll put some of the food in the fridge here, and then we'll go back to the main base. Yeah, we got lots of room in here. This is like jammed. Um, let's make some cookies. Or a cookie. That's fine though. We'll just let this continue filling up. Because uh, it's got some good food in it. Alright guys. Yeah, so let's go ahead and wrap up things uh, here. And then in the next episode, the plan will be to go out and keep exploring. To try and find more of those keys. Also, um, we, we did some substantial increasing of our our tti the last time i looked at this before i started the recording i think it was a 58 maybe or something like that um so now it's already almost to 70 so it won't be long now before we we finally max out on that um we we gave animals quite quite the hell of a boost and plants and biomass too so that's looking good and we're getting close all right, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, 
please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.